The following podcast is a Sempronto Media production. Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about five secrets that will kickstart your weight loss journey with intermittent fasting. Thank you guys so much for joining. And we have some amazing information that I'm going to pack into this video. So get your notepad ready. And just so you know, I'm giving away to a hundred people, an amazing gift to everyone. If you write a review on my podcast and you just take a screenshot of your review and email it to questions at chantelrayway.com and we'll send you a copy of my book, Waste Away, the book, and one lucky person will get a signed copy of the book. So if you've already done your review, do it on your husband's phone or your kid's phone and send it in. I've never done this before. So I'm super excited to be offering this to anyone who's listening right now. So these secrets are for beginners and longtime intermittent fasters. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Chantal Ray, and I'm a living, breathing example of what intermittent fasting can do for your health. As you guys know, I struggled to lose weight and I did every diet that was out there and I just couldn't lose the weight. And so I tried, I decided to interview over a thousand thin women and ask them what they did to stay skinny. And I realized one of the things that the secret sauce was intermittent fasting. Fasting. And these women were only eating in a short time frame, and they were only eating when they were hungry and stopping when they're full. So I've written three books, Waste Away, Fasting to Freedom and Freedom from Food, and created this podcast and starting a coaching program. And so if you have really done well with intermittent fasting and want to join our coaching team, email us at questions at chantelrayway.com. And we'd love to add you to our coaching team. So if you're new to intermittent fasting or you've been doing this for a while and all of the information I'm about to share with you is going to be helping you to be successful with your intermittent fasting journey. All right. So number one is finding the best schedule that comes to the biggest weight loss for you. And one of the schedules I've done that has really seemed to work, it's called 4111. And so it will help your body reduce inflammation and, you know, you're going to lose belly fat and love handles and they'll begin to shrink. So what is the 4111? What it is, is you pick four days to do intermittent fasting. So I recommend doing a four to six hour window. So let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, you do this. And so you'll pick two separate days to do a 24 hour fast. So let's say on Tuesday, you do a 24 hour fast. And on Thursday, you do a 24 hour fast. So all you're drinking is water and maybe some sea salt. And then the last day is a flex day without intermittent fasting. So you're actually in intentionally getting yourself, you know, not, not making your body where it's so used to doing intermittent fasting on that day, maybe doing an eight to 10 hour eating window. Maybe you're having breakfast, lunch, and dinner for that day. And, um, you're having a little bit more carbs than normal. So, you know, that that is a really great plan to kind of get your body so that it's kind of changing things up and shaking it up. I've seen people who maybe have lost a lot of weight doing a six hour eating window, and then they get into a rut, they get into a stall. And the reason is, is because their body is so used to it. And if you think about it, when you work out, if you're doing the exact same thing every single day, and you're never changing it up, your body just adapts to it. And it's soon you're, you're not going to see the changes. And so you want to change things up. So that's a great way to kind of change things up. Hey guys, one of the things that will take your weight loss to the next level is coaching. You can either work one-on-one with me or one of our certified private coaches. If you'd like, you can schedule your free call. It's a 10 minute strategy call just to see if coaching is gonna really take you to the next level. Don't just take my word for it. Listen to this recent review, a happy coaching client sent in. Thanks so much for your help and guidance. I never could have done it without you. The other thing is listening to the audiobook. Listening to the audiobook and getting the video course that I've done, people are seeing dramatic results. If you just listen to the audiobook 30 minutes a day, over and over and over again, and get the video course, go to ChantelRayway.com and check out the video course. You won't be sorry you did. 
The second secret is to work out during the fasted state. This will really ramp up fat burning. Um, I always work out in a fasted state. I work out at either 6, 6.45. Every once in a while, I'll work out at 5 in the morning. But I don't eat until 12 or 1 o'clock that day. So now I'm finished working out. Let's say I'm finished working out at 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9, 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. I'm waiting five more hours after I've worked out. I know I'm at complete zero. And when you exercise, when you have an empty stomach, you're putting, you know, when, when you do eat, like, let's say you have a banana or a sandwich or a protein shake before you're working out, you're putting those food calories at the front of your metabolic, your metabolic bus, which means that like, you're first going to burn that banana or that protein shake, right? First, you're going to burn that instead of burning the, the, the fat, uh, your body fat right? So when you go into a workout in a fasted state, you're putting your body's fat stores at the front. And so I recommend you could wait three to five hours until after you're working out. So that's a really great way to get that fat loss going. The third secret is how to break your fast the right way. And it's really important if you're doing longer fasts, um, you're doing a 24-hour fast or longer, that you're breaking the fast the right way. And the best way to do that is to have a little bit of, to eat protein and fat um, when you're eating. So bone broth is a great way, but another way would be just having like some chicken or something that's high in protein and a vegetable. Um, when you are eating a lot of carbs, when you first break your fast, plus that has a lot of fat, like for example, if you have an avocado toast, now you've got the bread that has tons of carbs. Now you've got avocado. And then let's say you put a bunch of like avocado oil over top of that. Um, you have the bread, which is going to spike your glucose, and then you have the fat. And it's just not a great recipe for that. So the biggest thing is we want to keep our insulin. You don't want it to go from to such a spike because you're at a fasted state, your, your glucose level is low. And then all of a sudden, if you're eating tons of bread or tons of sugar, the worst thing you could do when you're breaking your fast is to have some high sugary drink or an iced tea that's sweetened or something like that. That is going to really just not be good for your blood glucose because then it's gotten so high. And then you you get to the place where once you start crashing, you feel like you want to eat again and you never feel satisfied. And protein is one of the things that always keeps me satisfied. So if I'm not having enough protein, I definitely don't feel satisfied. Okay, tip number four is that when we're eating during our eating window, you know, we want to eat the right foods, you know? So one of the things that I've realized is, is there are certain things that I can eat that make me just go even, you know, it's like sugar. If I'm eating too much sugar, sugar begets, sugar begets, sugar. I just want more and more and more. And so there's some things that you're thinking of, um, some oils that are not as good for you, um, that are like canola oil or corn oil or soybean oil, those kind of oils, um, are really not good for you. Eating way too much sugar for me, um, gluten makes all my, my, you know, everything in, inflamed. So there's so many great gluten-free options out there. So I try to eat gluten-free. And the other thing is dairy. I really try to watch my dairy. There's so many great butters out there that are dairy-free and so many great things that don't have dairy in them. And I always feel better when I'm not eating dairy. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you I'm offering a free weight loss virtual Bible study. Now is the perfect time to focus on understanding true hunger and fullness and learn what the Bible has to say about it. All you have to do is go to ChantelRayWay.com slash Bible study. After you sign up, you'll receive a six week Bible study video that you can watch on your own or you can get a small group of people and do it together. That's ChantelRayWay.com slash Bible study for your free six week Bible study course. Secret number five is just more complex and it's understanding autophagy. So I've talked about autophagy millions of times, but the body's way of 
cleaning out damaged cells in order to regenerate newer, healthier cells. And so the literal meaning of autophagy is self-eating. Um, so if you were thinking about autophagy, you want to make sure that anything, if you, let, let's give an example. Let's say you opened up your fridge and you had all kinds of groceries that would were just expired, right? Then would you throw them in the trash and buy new groceries or would you just eat them? Like, no, you wouldn't eat all those expired groceries. And the thing is, is that your body is like a refrigerator. You know, you have cells that have expiration dates on it. And so you've got trillions of cells in your body and they need to be recycled. So you want them, you want to basically prune them. So I'll give you another example. One of the examples is my plants. So I am now, I'm getting into these tower gardens. If you want more information on them, they're amazing. Um, but I grow my own stuff. So I've got like five different things that I have tons of things growing in my garden right now. But there are certain plants that if you don't prune them, right? If you don't cut them and prune them, they will die. And that's the same thing is that we need to get we need to get to a place where we understand pruning is a good thing. We need to get rid of some of these old cells so that we can regenerate our new cells. And you know, uh, the one of the reasons why the flex day is so important, um, where you're not like fasting so rigidly and you're having a little bit more healthy carbs, um, but you're having higher carbs is it just gives you like that balance because if you're just in a state where you're fasting too much, um, then you're, you could be messing with your thyroid. If you're cold all the time and your weight loss is stalled, you know, you might be kind of just going too much. Like we want to be balanced. We don't want to be fasting too much, but we don't want to be fasting too little because fasting has so many amazing benefits. So anyway, these are just some great tips for the day. There are five different tips that I have, and hopefully they will encourage you on your weight loss today. All right. Don't forget, go ahead and take a snapshot of your review. So put in a review or grab your husband's phone or your kid's phone, grab that, put in a review and send it to questions at chantelrayway.com. And we're happy to send you a copy of the book. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. This has been a Sopranto Media Production. 